China demonstrated its outrage over the visit to Taiwan by U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi with a burst of military activity in surrounding waters. As Pelosi wrapped up the highest level U.S. visit to the island in 25 years on Wednesday, a senior defense official described the live fire military exercises as an effective blockade. These images were broadcast on China's state run TV. Taiwan's defense ministry says some of the air and naval exercises that are taking place within the 12 nautical mile area that Taiwan considers its territory an unprecedented move. China's foreign ministry says it doesn't see the drills causing freedom of navigation issues. This was Speaker Pelosi with Taiwanese President Tsai Ing-wen. Today the world faces a choice between democracy and autocracy. America's determination to preserve democracy here in Taiwan and around the world remains ironclad. This year, Russia invaded Ukraine, and then the security of the Taiwan Strait became another focal point for the rest of the world. The moment that democratic Taiwan is invaded will be a major assault on the security of the entire Indo-Pacific region. China considers Taiwan part of its territory and has never renounced using force to bring it under its control. The United States have warned China against using the visit as a pretext for military action against Taiwan. Wen Ti Sung is a political scientist with the Australian National University. He says the ongoing conflict in Ukraine caused concerns among some Taiwanese over their security. For, well, since the, uh, the onset of the Ukraine-Russia war, if you look at opinion polls, there's roughly a 10 to 15 percent decrease in terms of share of Taiwanese who worry, who lose faith that the U.S. will not be coming to Taiwan's assistance militarily if a war breaks out between Taiwan and China. So, and that's because they think that U.S. did not intervene directly militarily in Ukraine. And maybe it could be a situation of Ukraine today, Taiwan tomorrow. Pelosi also met with pro-democracy activists in Taiwan, including one who fled Hong Kong in 2019. And this man, Wara Kaishi, one of the original student leaders of the 1989 Tiananmen Square protest. Beijing has said that Pelosi's visit seriously damages peace and stability in the region. Please rise, ladies and gentlemen. The president and the speaker have arrived. Pelosi. Taiwan has been an island of resilience in the world. Indeed, the people of Taiwan have proven to the world that with hope, courage, and determination, it is possible to build a peaceful and prosperous future, even in terms of the challenges you face. And now, more than ever, America's solidarity with Tom Taiwan is crucial, and that is the message we are bringing here today. Today, the world faces a choice between democracy and autocracy. America's determination to preserve democracy here in Taiwan and around the world remains ironclad. And we're grateful to the partnership of the people of Taiwan in this mission. Please rise, ladies and gentlemen. The president and the speaker have arrived.